Hi guys, bonsoir, this is Shariq and welcome to Globetrot with Arabic. This is a Lebanese Arabic lesson dedicated to my Lebanese Arabic language learners. It's been a while, I haven't uploaded a lesson because it's been crazy times. We've been doing Lebanese Arabic 30 day challenge courses on Zoom. So it takes a lot of time, that's why I haven't been uploading so many lessons on YouTube, but I'll try to upload more and more. If you're interested, we're doing the 30-day Lebanese Arabic challenge courses again. We're starting on September 7 and we finish on October 6. So that's exactly 30 days of Lebanese Arabic with me on Zoom for two hours every single day. And there will be more than one level, the absolute beginners, the general one, general two and advanced. If you are interested in signing up for the course, you can email me. I'm going to write my email address here, shariq at globetrotwitharabic.com Any questions, I am here to answer them. Yalla, let's begin. Um, today my friend traveled from London and I told him an expression in Arabic and then when I said the expression I thought why don't I teach my students this on YouTube because we have many nice expressions we use in Lebanese Arabic when somebody travels or when somebody arrives from a flight. So I'm gonna tell you this. But also before we begin, I want to tell you more about how things happen in our culture. It's not just, yeah, you're traveling and somebody maybe um, is waiting for you to arrive or no, it's usually the whole family, uh, the neighbors, uh, I don't know, the friends, everybody gets involved somehow, which is nice. This is the things that I like in Lebanese culture. It's not like a solo culture. It's more like a community culture. Sometimes it can be a bit too much, but it's nice. So um, not, only, not only they say expressions or they wait for you and all of that. No, but uh, they also have to give you advice sometimes not sometimes always even if they're not the family members they will still give you advice okay so i'm gonna start i wrote some of them here on the on the on in my notes what i want to ask you guys is not to sit down and listen to me passively no sit down write them down uh, say it out loud even if you're not writing them at least if you say them out loud pause repeat it helps a lot. If you just listen passively, they say you retain maybe like 10% or 20% of the information. But if you sit down and write them down, or if you say it, you increase the chances of memorizing them. And that would be maybe like 90% or something. Okay. So yeah, let's begin. I'm going to just start by saying don't be late because they will tell you not to be late to, to, to your flight, basically. Um, even if you know it or not, they will say it. So in my case, they will say it, of course, because I'm always late. So they start saying, ما تتأخري. ما تتأخري means don't be late. ما تتأخري. تتأخري is you be late. ما تتأخري. Don't be late if you're saying it to a girl. Wait, my battery is going to die. But if you say it to a guy, you say ما تتأخر. So ما تتأخري. ما تتأخر. Okay. You can also say ما تتأخر عطيارتك. Don't be late to your airplane. But we don't mean airplane. We mean to your flight. ما تتأخر ع on literally ع which means to. ما تتأخر عطيارتك. طيارة is an airplane. طيارتك with the ك in the end makes it your plane masculine. ما تتأخر عطيارتك. And if you want to say it to a girl, you say ما تتأخري عطيارتك ما تتأخري You add the ي in the end ما تتأخري عطيارتك And the ik sound in the end makes it feminine ما تتأخر عطيارتك And ما تتأخري عطيارتك They will also ask you If for example I'm in London and my parents are in Lebanon They ask me did you leave home? مشيت من البيت مشيتي مشيتي literally means you walked but they it doesn't it, they don't mean did you walk no they mean did you leave مشيتي and if it's a guy they ask مشيت so مشيتي من البيت you see I'm pronouncing it fast with the liaison من ال من البيت it's من from ال the and بيت من البيت from the house which means from home مشيتي من البيت Did you walk from home? Of course we don't mean did you walk from home It means did you leave home? مشيتي من البيت And if you're talking to a guy You would say مشيت من البيت 
So, مشيتي من البيت they will ask you مشيت من البيت and of course they will also give you advice to be at the airport um, three hours in advance so they will tell you for me if I'm a girl not if I'm a girl <laughs> I'm a girl they will tell me um, لازم تكوني على المطار قبل بثلاث ساعات you have to be at the airport three hours in advance because usually there would be lots of people or whatever so they will say it to you whether you know it or not they will say it to you so لازم تكوني على المطار لازم must literally must لازم تكوني you be so if you want to say you must be in Arabic you, the way you say it is must you be لازم تكوني لازم تكوني على المطار Literally, I'm saying on the airport. Of course, we don't mean on the airport. We mean at the airport. So, لازم تكوني على المطار. لازم تكوني على المطار. You have to be at the airport. لازم تكوني على المطار قبل بي ثلاث ساعات. قبل بي means before. قبل بي ثلاث ساعات. ثلاث ثلاثة three. ثلاث ساعات hours ساعات. ثلاث ساعات three hours. قبل بي ثلاث ساعات. Three hours in advance, but the way we say it in Arabic is before three hours. لازم تكون على المطار قبل بثلاث ساعات. You have to be at the airport three hours in advance. Of course, they can also say قبل بثلاث ساعات من طيارتك, literally from your airplane, which means from your flight. We use airplane, the word airplane, to refer to flight. Okay, so لازم تكون على المطار. That's because I'm not a guy. But if it's a guy, we tell them لازم تكون لازم تكون feminine لازم تكون you must be masculine. So لازم تكون على المطار قبل بثلاث ساعات لازم تكون على المطار قبل بثلاث ساعات. Now, um, again, the other things they ask from us is oh, first of all, they call you like a hundred times on the way. Once you are in the taxi. Uh, maybe the second, third time when you are in the taxi, you, are, you arrive at the airport, they're calling you, you're trying to check in, your phone rings like 300 times. So, uh, for example, they say, حكيني بس توصل على المطار. حكيني, talk to me, which means call me. We say talk to me, حكيني, but we mean call me, okay? حكيني بس توصل when you arrive. حكيني بس توصل, بس means when in this context حكيني بس توصل when you arrive على المطار again I'm saying on the airport which means at the airport حكيني بس توصل على المطار and if they want to say it to me as feminine حكيني بس توصلي على المطار حكيني بس توصلي the difference is حكيني بس توصل masculine حكيني بس توصلي feminine حكيني بس توصلي على المطار Talk to me, which means call me when you get to the airport. Let me know when you get to the airport. حكيني بس توصلي على المطار. Now, when you get to the airport, they will ask you to call them when you check in. حكيني بس تعمل check in. حكيني بس تعمل, or sometimes we pronounce it تعمل. It doesn't make a difference. That's masculine, by the way. حكيني بس تعمل check in. Talk to me or call me when you do. Check in. That's we. That's how we say when you check in. بس تعمل check in. When you do check in, which means when you check in. حكيني بس تعمل check in. Call me when you check in. That's masculine. حكيني بس تعملي. So بس تعمل is when you do masculine. بس تعملي is when you do feminine. حكيني بس تعمل check in or حكيني بس تعملي. Check in, and then when you check in, they will ask you to call, like to call them when you are inside the airplane. Okay, so حكيني بس تصير عالطيارة. Okay, حكيني talk to me or call me بس تصير when you become بس تصير. That's masculine. And if they say it to me, they would say بس تصير. حكيني بس تصير عالطيارة. Talk to me or call me when you become on the airplane. We don't mean when you become on the airplane. We mean when you are already on the plane. Okay? So, حكيني بس تصير عالطيارة. That's masculine. And حكيني بس تصيري عالطيارة. That's feminine. And when you call them, 
from the like the last call when you're on the plane they will tell you to let them know when you arrive hakine bas tousal hakine bas tousal or hakine bas tousale okay that's feminine hakine bas tousal hakine bas tousale that's feminine and when i when i say hakine bas tousal of course we can also use the word lamma instead of bas hakine lamma tousal hakine lamma tousale it's the same as hakine bas tousal and hakine bas tousale and by the way we can also say hakine waqta tousal hakine waqta tousale so the words bas and lamma and waqta the three of them are meaning exactly the same thing here and we can use them interchangeably so i'm going to repeat hakine bas tousal it has exactly the same meaning as hakine lamma tousal it has the same meaning as hakine waqta tousal exactly the same they don't change okay so these are the phone calls and everything now let's start with the first expression if somebody's traveling you can tell them truh wa tarja bisalame say it again with me truh wa tarja bisalame truh is you go but we mean here to say may you go may you go truh wa tarja and you return Again, we mean you go and you return, but we mean to say may you go and return. تروح وترجع بالسلامة. بالسلامة is with with safety. Literally, you're literally literally saying بالسلامة بالسلامة written, which means in the safety. Of course, you don't mean in the safety. It means with safety. May you go and come back. With safety, salame. تروح وترجع بالسلامة. That's if you're saying it to a guy. If you want to say it to me or someone in the feminine form, you say تروح وترجع بالسلامة. You add the a sound in the end, and it's written as a y in Arabic. تروح وترجع بالسلامة. I'm gonna say it a bit faster to a guy. تروح وترجع بالسلامة. To a girl, تروح وترجع بالسلامة. تروحو that's how you're pronouncing it تروحو تروحو ترجعي بالسلامة تروحو ترجع بالسلامة تروحو ترجعي بالسلامة this is very very commonly used if somebody is dear to your heart and you want to wish them to have a good flight that's how you say it تروحو ترجع بالسلامة a mom usually might say to her to her kids ما بدي وصيك ما بدي وصيك she's literally saying I don't want to advise you وصيك like give you advice but she means she means she wants to give him advice to take care of himself but she's saying it in a way like I don't even have to give you advice because I'm it's a given that you have to take care of yourself you see what I mean so ما بدي وصيك ما بدي I don't want to ما بدي وصيك it's a way to say Take care of yourself. I don't even want have. I don't even want to remind you to take care of yourself. Okay, ma bade wasik, and if it's to a girl, they would say ma bade wasik. Ma bade wasik. Ma bade wasik. Okay. This this is not only used when somebody is traveling. It's also used when somebody like is telling you to take care, and you are very dear to them, and you know they're saying really take care. I don't have to remind you. Okay. ما بدي وصيك ما بدي وصيك um, now if i travel for example and my mom you know she i'm her daughter she will miss me so the next day maybe her friends might call her and tell her مثل ما ودعت تلاقي so this is an expression we use to say to someone related to the person who left not the person who left we say it to someone related to that person or someone who loves that person or you know the person who traveled is dear to them so we say it to them as a way to comfort them okay so we say مثل ما ودعت تلاقي if I'm saying it to a guy I'll say it slower say it with me مثل ما ودعت ودعت تلاقي مثل ما ودعت تلاقي and if you want to say it to a woman, you say مثل ما ودعت تلاقي So the difference is مثل ما ودعت مثل ما ودعت in the feminine form مثل ما ودعت تلاقي مثل ما ودعت تلاقي So what does this literally mean? 
مثل ما just like مثل ما مثل means like مثل ما we use it to mean just like you'll understand what I mean in a second مثل ما ودعت ودعت is a verb literally as if you are saying you farewelled it doesn't exist as a verb in English but in Arabic it's it means to say goodbye or to farewell someone okay it's not just to say goodbye the normal goodbye no it's like when somebody leaves for a long time okay it's like a farewell okay but it's a verb ودعت you farewelled literally مثل ما ودعت just like you farewelled you will understand what I mean in a second تلاقي you find literally you find may you find so what does this mean it's a way to say just uh, just in the same way you had to say farewell to the person may you find them again like may you may they come back to you just like it's a way to say maybe like they're going and they are coming back i hope they go but they come back in the same situation they were in healthy or in 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 a good in a good state okay so مثل ما ودعت تلاقي i hope just like you had to say goodbye, someday you find them, which means someday you have to welcome them again, okay? It's a very nice expression and very, very, very commonly used, okay? So, مثل ما ودعت تلاقي That's if you're saying it to a guy. مثل ما ودعتي تلاقي If you're saying it to a girl. Another expression is... Um, sometimes they say, don't forget us. ما تنسينا ما تنسينا تنسى is you forget that's masculine تنسي is you forget feminine but then when we add the na in the end which means us okay it's an object pronoun it's us we don't say ما تنسى نا anymore no for both masculine and feminine we will pronounce it in the same way we will say ما تنسينا don't forget us ما تنسينا why do we say us even if it's just one person saying it we say it sometimes maybe we mean ourselves but maybe also we mean us as a family or as a group it can be used as I either ways okay I'll come back okay so I was saying the last one was uh, Matt and Sina don't forget us uh, and of course they will shower you with their prayers they will say God be with you take care of yourself and all of that so we say Allah ma'ak Allah ma'ak God with you literally which means may God be with you and in the feminine form we say Allah ma'ik so Allah ma'ak Allah ma'ik take care of yourself ntibih ahalak ntibih take care and in another context it can mean watch out but here it means take care like literally in Arabic you say take care on yourself which means of yourself so hal means self and the ak in the end makes it masculine and in the feminine form we say we add the a sound in the end and we write it with the ye so or uh, we also say Allah yawfak Allah يوفقك God uh, give you luck يوفق give you success as well okay so Allah يوفقك Allah يوفقك it's a it's a way to wish good luck to someone Allah يوفقك Allah يوفقك so Allah معك انتبه عحالك Allah يوفقك and Allah معك انتبه عحالك and Allah yawfiq there will be a lot more a, a whole series of prayers and wishes because that's also part of our culture as well it's not just take care of yourself no it's like uh, maybe 10 or 20 expressions that are in the row all good wishes and all prayers okay and one other thing I wanted to say is what does the person say when you arrive so for example if I arrive to Lebanon what would they say to me? It's not just the parents, it's also the taxi driver, the people uh, at the airport, the customs office, all of them. They will say, Alhamdulillah as salame Alhamdulillah as salame What does this expression literally mean? It means Alhamdulillah, thank God, Alhamdulillah as salame Salame means safety. As salame written as al salame 
literally it's on the safety but we don't mean thank god on the safety no we mean thank god for the safety which means thank god you arrived safely so it's a fixed expression it doesn't change whether you're saying it to a guy to a girl to a group it doesn't matter it's always the same alhamdulillah assalam alhamdulillah assalam if you want to be specific you can also say alhamdulillah assalam tak with the ak sound in the end and then you pronounce the marbuta because you're also adding the ak in the end and alhamdulillah assalam tik then also you pronounce the marbuta so as i said you can say it just like this alhamdulillah assalam to anyone and if you want to be specific you can say alhamdulillah assalam tak if you're talking to a guy and alhamdulillah assalam tik if you're talking to a girl also there is the expression nawarit nawarit comes from the word noor and noor means light and when you say nawarit it's like you're saying oh it lightened it's not really like really light came up or something no but you're saying oh their face brightened up your uh, your the place because they came okay so we say no what it even if it's a guy or a girl it doesn't matter it's always the same and one final thing i want to talk about is what we say when we're leaving if like if i'm traveling and somebody calls me okay and they know that i'm traveling to lebanon so we always um propose to each other if they need anything from here or sometimes we even suggest if they want us to take something back home because if we have space in our luggage so there is always these uh, conversations going on so if i am for example in london and someone from lebanon calls me and they know i'm coming i ask them do you want something she means think but she min from here that's masculine if i'm talking to a guy and if i'm talking to a, to a woman i would say badik she min hon badak she min hon or badik she min hon and uh, sometimes i can even say like mai matrah bishanta like i have space in my bag mai mai literally with me which means i have mai matrah matrah means place or space mai matrah bishanta in the back it's a way to say i have enough space so i can bring something to you mai matrah bishanta sometimes we say ma mai matrah bishanta okay i think that's it for today these are the expressions we use i hope they were useful for you as i said try to say it out loud try to repeat after me and also for sure try to write them down this is down this is the best way for you to memorize them that's it for today and i hope to see you soon bye now